In an earlier video, I showed you how you can use Microsoft Tables to center something above my list. I personally believe that tables are one of the rock star features of Word, and so I'm going to show you how you can use tables in kind of some unique ways to do some formatting or laying out pages in ways that might look complicated that are really relatively simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Insert tab, and I'm going to create a table. I'm going to do a two-column table there. Now, in order to adjust the size of my columns, I'm going to click here on this line, and I'm going to drag it over a little bit, and I'm going to also adjust the size of my table over here. I'm going to type in a little bit of text. Maybe I have an item here, and maybe a description of that item. I'm going to type in water and type in some blada blada about water, maybe a paragraph looking type thing. And then I'm going to press tab to get another item. So maybe I'm going to type in air, type some more information, add a little more text, and press tab again. Maybe we'll put fire in. Now when you're looking at this in a table format, it doesn't really look like much, especially when you still have the, the grid being displayed. But if you want to make it look like you did something really hard and do that in a really easy way, all you need to do is to click on this little square up in the corner that becomes activated when I'm in the table. What that does is selects my entire table. From here, I can go to my Table Tools and go to the Design tab, and I can start to play with what borders are actually going to be displayed when I print this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Borders button, and I'm going to go down, and I'm originally going to turn off all the borders, so I'm going to say No Borders. Now, if you were trying to do this using tabs, it would be rather difficult. Let's say after I've looked at this, I want to add some lines back in, so if I click on my first row here, I might go back to my borders and say, you know, I'd like to add a border underneath that top line. And maybe I'd also like to add a border down the middle here. I might even want to add a border along the bottom to kind of finish out my document. So I'm going to add another bottom border here. And maybe I want to add a border along the top. So you'll notice in just a few short clicks, I've created a table that looks very complicated, and it really wasn't that hard. If I go into my file and go to my print and look at my print preview, this is what that document will look like when it prints. And I did it all by using my table and using on the Design tab under my Table Tools, readjusting the way the borders are going to print within Microsoft Tables 